Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a review of this knife here. And I don't know if you remember, but a few months ago, Gearbest got in contact with me and asked me to do a review of some of their knives, and I got to choose. And the first time, I chose poorly. Uh, the Ganzo, if you remember, was kind of like, meh. And then the other knife that I chose, I think it was a San Remnu, it just was dangerous. The lock would kept failing on me. So, but the promise I made you guys is whatever they send me, I'm not going to keep. I'm going to ship it out for Piff, so that way you know it's all up and up and above board and all that. Now this knife here, the first two I was like, yay, send them. Well, I didn't send the second one off, I don't think. The second one's living around here somewhere. The first one I sent off, and it was like, oh, okay, it's a, it's a knife. And But this one, I don't want to send off. This is actually a pretty cool knife. So let's get on into this, and we'll check it out here. This is what they describe on their website. This is the actual title of the knife. The Fura S35VN Steel Blade Portable Frame Lock Folding Knife. And this is the golden colored one. So check that out. Now, they're saying this is a S35VN blade. I would like to do some testing on this, but on the outside chance that I mess it up or anything, I don't, I don't want to ruin it for somebody that can get this as a really, really cool piff knife. This is just a cool little piff knife. So let's check it out here. Let's see what we got here. We got one, just about two inches on that blade. Now, cutting edge on the blade is about an inch and a half. It's got a really cool thumb thingy here. Stick that jammer in there. It's got that choil, just real comfortable choil. You can get in there and slice your cheese, whittle your celery down to an edible size. And it's got a really cool flipper there. Flips out nicely. So, let's check this out. You got, and I really like the blade shape. I don't know if y'all like that. That's like the way that sweeps up and kind of looks like a rhinoceros or a triceratops. I don't know what that's called, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't think the thumb thingy there does anything but help lessen the weight, so use the flipper. All right, let's check out the handle here. We got one, two, about two and three quarters inches of handle, so if you got any size on your hands at all, it's probably going to be best if you get a little lanyard there. And it gives you a good lanyard hole. I got a little 550. And then you can also get up here on this choil. It's kind of like the the shuffle where you can get up on that choil and it really kind of fits a little bit better in your hand. Or you can get back here with a lanyard and you have a little bit of extension. for. And with the lanyard, it's very comfortable, especially for a little pocket chunker, which we'll check the weight out here in a second. But, you know, you don't have a any clip whatsoever on this. So this is definitely a pocket chunker. Just gotta throw it in there. And if you got the lanyard on there, it'll help you find it a little easier in your pocket. I might order me one of these just because I really do like it. All right, hold on one second. Okay, now you got this titanium frame lock here. This is all titanium handle and scales. Not scales, but handle. And a titanium frame. Get it right. So it locks up really nicely, even though it's a small tiny knife there's no blade play there now there's no rocking no anything it's very very locked up very nice for a little pocket chunker and i think it's running actually on bearings so you got a little titanium pocket chunker with what might be s35 vn steel i'm not going to test it so i can't question the veracity but let's check out the cuts let's grab us a coupon shall we hold on let me find a coupon a coupon. All right. A cleaning service. If you just, if you could look over there into the living room, you would understand this is a very apropos coupon. All right, let's see. So this is right out of the box. This is the way they send it to me. I haven't touched it up. Just sharp, a sharp. Look at that. So just a shredder, and it's really cool. I'm telling you, you're going to like this knife, and the price you're going to get it for is pretty awesome. You're going to pay 20 bucks for a titanium pocket chunker that runs on bearings and flips really nicely. All right, so let's keep going here. It's got totally open construction. You can see that. 
So you're not going to worry about cleaning the pocket lint out of your knife. You just take it out of there, no problem. Now let's check out how much this thing weighs. And it's true pocket chunker status. It, I don't think it's going to be a problem. You throw this in there, you're going to forget about it until you don't forget about it. So you're looking at 57 grams. Now, I know it's not a great time to get into your carrying philosophy or whatever. Wait, start over. All right, let's try it one more time here. Sorry. So you got two ounces, basically. Probably less than two with the fro there. And 57 grams is going to be less than that. So definitely a pocket chunker. Now, this is perfect. Now, so when I go out, I'm saying now a lot. Now, now. When I go to my early morning runs to the store, I always carry a couple of self-defense knives. And when you're in that situation, if you want a knife like that, you're going to pull out something jagged with teeth and a personality and claws and it's going to scare people. Or reach up under your shirt for the horrible death dealer you got poking out there. This is perfect. You stick this in your pocket and you need a knife for a non-lethal situation. That's what the pocket chunkers are for. And that's why I always like to carry a little one. And this would be perfect. I love this little knife. Once again, I can't verify that it's S35VN, but I can't say it's not. So, and it cuts nicely. It's got a good edge on it. So overall, I'm gonna give this thing a big thumbs up. This thing is really cool. And it comes in several colors. It comes in silver blue, golden, which is this one, and silver green. And like I said, they're $19.99 at GearBest. Now, when you order through GearBest, if you haven't, it's going to take you a long, long time. You're going to order today, and then when, you know, four years from now, no, it's not going to be four years, but it'll take you a couple weeks at least. I ordered these about three weeks ago. Let's see, 23, 27, carry the two. Yeah, about three weeks ago. And they're finally here, but it's a good deal. And if you can wait, just think about Christmas. Ooh, Christmas. These would be great for Christmas. A little stocking stuffer. Ooh, now I got it. But nobody here likes knives. What's up with that? I'm going to stuff my own stocking full of Furas. But these are really cool. Great, great little knife. Now, like I said, I haven't tested it. I can't tell you how well it's going to whack the spine or, you know, if it's going to cut through cardboard for hours on end. But the reason for that is I want to send it to one of you guys. One of you final folks on the PIF list here is going to grab this. And I know you'll be happy with it. It's a really excellent little knife. All right, I think that's it. I don't have anything that really compares to it. Let's see if we can get a little size comparison here. Here is... Uh, does this one have the same? Yeah, this one's... See, this is the Kershaw Decoy. Just for a size comparison kind of thing. You can see how much smaller that is than the Decoy. Is that on camera? Look down here, can you see my hand? No, you can't. So, it's a it's a small knife and is perfect for, for getting about in your pocket, like I said. Let's see what else we got. I mentioned the shuffle. Let me bring out my little pink shuffle here. So here's the shuffle compared to it. See how it's got that forward choil thing there? Now if you take off the handle, it's actually really comparable to the shuffle as far as blade length and usable blade size. Man, I love this shuffle. If you don't have a shuffle, get one. It's just it fits comfortably. If you got a landing on there, it's even awesomer. Awesomer. That rhymes with gossamer. But get one of these. Don't won't be able to find a pink one. It's impossible. So there you go. 20 bucks. Titanium S35VN. Cool flipper. I guess that's it. Like here. Subscribe over here. Hey, I never mentioned this, but share the videos. Spread the love. Let some people know about the channel, about the videos, about Piff. Get it out there. Don't don't make me start advertising on Craigslist. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Right right next to the pit bull breeders and the herbal supplement people. It'll, it'll happen. I'll do it. I will. Do, I will. No, I won't. All right, get over to Facebook. There's some weirdos over there. There's some fun people over there. It's a lot of fun. Great conversations, cool challenges. 
Facebook related giveaways. It's really cool. And I can't say enough. If you like knives and you like nice people and you like a judgment free environment where you can talk about your Kershaw, just like you can talk about, you know, your whatever, ZT. You're going to get equal treatment over there. And I think you'll like it if you like knives. And I think that's it. I'm rambling now. I will talk to y'all later. Hey everybody, and this is a little addendum to the video you just watched. In about five minutes after I posted this for the first time, I found out that the logo that they put on this knife was a copy of the Serge Pachinko custom logo, and that just leads down to a bad, bad thing. And that's the kind of clones I don't agree with, where you don't know the difference. Now, that being said, I can't find online, and maybe y'all can, where this is his design or this is a copy of a knife he made but still they put the logo on there the sp logo and it, i didn't really understand who serge pachinko was i'm not gonna lie i've heard his name but i didn't put the two together and i was trying the whole time to figure out how the sp and the fura work together and, and it didn't pop into my brain to look any further so that's on me the all the quality issues that i've talked about with this knife are still standing this is a cool little knife great titanium frame lock pocket chunker and I plan on carrying it and plan on I'm going to keep this one since it's a clone unless you want it now that I've made some adjustments to it I took the, I, this is just symbolic this isn't going to stop them from making it this way and it's not going to stop a lot of people from buying it this way I just don't want something that's been in my hands and something that I've advocated for buying to be sent out and ever get somebody bit for 150 bucks thinking that they're buying Serge Pachinko. Is it a long, long shot? Maybe. But we found out in Facebook. We found out here. We found it all the place. They're sneaky, devious people. Just will sell their grandmothers to make an extra buck. And I, I don't want to be a part of that. This isn't Ganzo. Well, that kind of looks like this knife. But you have on the side it says Ganzo. On the side it says whatever. It says San Renmu. You know you're getting a San Renmu. Maybe it's a copy. But you're not getting something that says Serge Pachinko on the side. And having to figure out for yourself whether or not Serge Pachinko made that knife. So that's where we're at with this. Cool knife. Great blade. They should have sold it as their own. Like I said, I can't find his copy of this. Put a big F right here. If you're on the blade and sell it. And it's the same knife. And I would buy it just as, and I'll buy it quicker. I'm not gonna, I can't understand where they're coming from with this. Like, I'm not gonna try to explain it here. I'm just saying this is an addendum. That's what the SP stood for. You can go back and look at the video. It's not on here anymore. I dremeled it off. It doesn't lose its usefulness as a Fura. It doesn't lose its appeal as a Fura. And I don't, I don't see the reason. But that's just the way it is. If you like this knife and the clone thing doesn't bother you and you have good intentions for its use, this is not going to fail you. It's a cool knife. Chuck it in your pocket. And I guess that's it. And I will talk to you all later.